Dela Wright, my envies. Welcome. Now, it's been rumored that um, Queen Naomi's uncles, um, one of the most senior uncle from the paternal family of Queen Naomi, who is somewhat close to the Oni of Ife, um, and some other senior uncles of Queen Naomi have visited the palace of the Oni of Ife um, um, to demand respectfully that um, Oni of Ife um, gets to free Queen Naomi if he is not ready to go through with the plans and everything that Queen Naomi is a very young girl and very vibrant and Queen Naomi deserves to move on with um, uh, her life. Now, it is rumored also that um, around Ile Ife, for those who do not um, want Queen Naomi and also the Yoruba people who think that uh, Queen Naomi had disrespected the Oni of Ife, they are back so much by going on Instagram to post that stuff, that they have been saying Oni of Ife has already freed Queen Naomi. Oni of Ife is living his life and Queen Naomi should go ahead and live her own life. That That is the um, rumor that is um, making the rounds and everywhere in everybody's mouth. That most times when people talk about Queen Naomi's freedom, they say Queen Naomi has already been free. And now with all the events happening in the palace right now, not just about the uh, bed of the twin, because the bed of the twin happens to be a, an event that was celebrated by everybody, including Queen Naomi and her family, okay? Uh, there is nobody, I don't think it's only a, a, a person who ha doesn't have a good heart that will not um, uh, feel good about what happened. Toby deserved the best as well, and Uni of Ife deserves to be happy. He is over, he needs more kids, okay? But um, apart from the event of um, Toby's, um, uh, the birth of Toby's um, children, because that is the positive, the one positive event that has happened um, around this period, they say there have been a lot of happenings that a lot of us are not even preview to about um, Queen Naomi and the Oni of Ife back and forth movement, um, um, a fight here and there with the wives and all of that. And so um, with everything that is happening, Queen Naomi is beginning to say she is tired, like she is exhausted once again, going back to where we were like about nine months ago. And this saddens me because I feel like at this point, we shouldn't be talking about this. We should be talking about complete reconciliation after getting to a point where they said she was coming back to the palace in June, and then all of these events happen. But then again, if you follow the prophecies that have been coming time and time again, you also get to understand that they said these things are likely to happen. But as it is now, they said Queen Naomi's uncles are asking the only of Ife to free Queen Naomi if he's not ready to expedite action to bring Queen Naomi back into the palace of the only of Ife. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Dela Rama. I bring you fresh and spicy just from the south. I'd still on the royals how are you guys doing Dela? right um happy uh, midweek to you i appreciate you i love you i thank you i share you i do well Dela right my Dela right my Dela right my super people Dela right my Dela right my Dela right my super people I love you guys so much. I appreciate you for always coming back to my channel. I appreciate you most especially for your, you know, um, um, loyalty. I would never, ever take that for granted. You are right here. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, people. Thank you. I love you guys so much. If you're here and you're yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, now, um, report reaching us right now is that um, the family of Olori Naomi are beginning to agitate for freedom yet again. That the only of Ife will need to free um, um, uh, Queen Naomi if he's not ready to expedite action to bring Queen Naomi back into um, the palace. That saying that Queen Naomi is free, uh, um, going by the things that people are saying in, in the media space and all of that, is not enough. That only knows that he is an Oba. And there is no Odua or Udua descendant that will want to go close to um, uh, Lori Naomi, um, owing to the fact that she has been married to a first class Oba because they are, are scared. That um, um, uh, living with Naomi like that and not doing anything to bring her into the um, palace is tantamount to, you know, well, not 
doing her any good, okay? Now, um, I don't really know uh, much about the tradition, but from what we are hearing, uh, we are hearing if this information is to be true, it's important for you to always, always bear in mind that I keep telling you that these are all alleged information, okay? It's not a first-hand information. I do not live in the palace of the Oni of Ife, neither do I have a relative in the palace of the Oni of Ife. I'm just a blogger, okay? And so when I get any information, I bring it here, but I have to tell you the truth that these are all alleged information, okay? Mm-hmm. And plus, I keep telling you, anything you see on social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt. Now, um, they said, allegedly, that for Kwinami to remarry, being a wife of um, a, a first-class, a traditional king, that is going to be very difficult, except it's not going to be a Yoruba man, that is a difficult thing. So if Oni is not ready to bring Kwinami back into the palace, he should be willing to give Queen Naomi um, um, freedom publicly the way he did with um, Wurola. Now, um, for those of you who follow the trend of Wurola, they said that when Wurola decided to leave the palace, but because Wurola um, um, comes from a traditional um, um, community and um, uh, um, uh, she is, or she is, yes, she is also a princess from Benin. And um, they said that because the family understood what it meant, they had to come um, um, to the Oni of Ife and ask for Wurola's freedom. And Wurola was given complete freedom. Um, what that means is that bright prize was returned and uh, the, the uh, ritual that was supposed to be done was done immediately and Wurola was free to go. And that is why Wurola is living her life. Nobody feels as though if they come close to Wurola, anything is likely to happen to them. But in Quinami's um, 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 own, it's been very different. When Quinami left, Oni of Ife just let her go until lately when we began to hear, okay, rumor, rumor, rumor everywhere that Oni has been begging Quinami. And, you know, if everything we have been hearing is to be true, we have also heard another one again that the family has come back to the Oni of Ife to ask that Oni will give Nami freedom. What that means is that the family of um, KBAC should receive their bride price back, the bride price that was paid that has not been refunded, and uh, that that bride price should be given back to them, and so that Oni will openly and publicly, you know, um, um, uh, give Naomi freedom that everybody will hear about, and also um, make it known that, yes, so freedom has been given, Naomi is free to marry, because in uh, during the time of Urola, that was the same thing that was done. Oni made it known that uh, Urola was free to marry. Now, Oni has not done that um, for Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi is there. They've been going back and forth. And today she's coming, tomorrow she's not. And they say everything that Oni is saying is um, uh, different, though he has shown a lot of love and all of that. But the actions are not coming as fast as expected. And if um, uh, things are not going to work out, that he needs to give Queen Naomi that freedom so Queen Naomi can go and start her own life. And everybody will have to know that Queen Naomi has been completely free from um, the Oba and the royal family so she can live her own life. And that is what the family is asking of. But right now, the question is that, is only of if you're willing to do that? Is this really what Queen Naomi would want at this time after sacrificing so much? I, I mean, this is very disturbing at the end of the day for me, even though we've been on this back and forth, back and forth. I just feel so, so, so tired of all of this. Will Kabiesi give Naomi that freedom? Is he ready to do that? It's a question that everybody is asking right now because... Um, I really do think that even for the bloggers, the moment um, Kabiesi comes out to say, that is my own thought, the moment Kabiesi comes out to say, um, I'm done with Queen Naomi, um, uh, she is free to live her life and all of that. I do think that even the bloggers will understand um, uh, what is going on because the truth remains that for somebody like me, I I, I like Oni of Ife so much and I like um, Queen Naomi a lot. I, I like Oni of Ife because I do feel that he is indeed a good king um, from the trajectory of events. And Queen Naomi also is really good. And they were really, really great together. 
I, if there's anything I would have wished um, would have been for them to um, be together. But with the way things are going right now, it's beginning to look as though there are more people who do not want to see Queen Nami and the Oni of Ife together than those who want to see them together. I do know that Queen Nami fans so love this situation. They want to see them together. But they, um, if um, this is not going to happen, the least they can do is to free her so she can start up a new life. Somebody like me, I'm going to follow Queen Naomi. Whether if she likes to let her go to um, Timbuktu, I will still be following her. I'll report about her because I love her. I'm a diehard fan to uh, Lori Naomi. And even the, uh, the only of Ife. But right now, the way things are going, they said the family is asking for once, once, once and for all. Allegedly, oh, that the only of Ife um, uh, come out um, and uh, give Kinami um, that freedom and also announce to the entire world that Kinami is free to uh, remarry, that they cannot keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth uh, with this. That that was why the uncle came. Now, the uncle in question, it was the same uncle who gave Queen Naomi hand in marriage to the Oni of Ife. And I think um, um, that's the only uncle from the Patana family that Queen Naomi is very close to. Uh, the man has been doing everything. They are right there in the village, um, some village right there uh, around Akure where they, they live, where they come from. And the man has been very supportive. Even when they said Oni of Ife sent um, um, people to go and see them to bring things for the reconciliation. They said the man was one of the happiest people who had visited the palace to applaud Oni for what he did. But right now, um, with the way things are going, but a lot of people are saying, what is bringing this now? Is it the bed of Toby's children? No, it's all the other things that are happening, ports here and there, this, that, that, that we are hearing allegedly. They say that is why the uncle decided to do this. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.